That body, though. That peach, though. Can we just say it? Can I guess me have? That's some. Um Friends, your buddy Gilbert here, and I'm so excited about today's video. If you're brand new here, my name is Gilbert, and I am a singer-songwriter living in Los Angeles. This is my YouTube channel. I do reaction videos, have a podcast, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So I hope that you are down to have a good time, have a lot of fun. In celebration of Divas Month, I am bringing you all of the greatest vocal powerhouses that you could ever think of to rock and sing your face off. I am very excited and a little bit emotional about today's video. I am a huge fan of Selena. I always have been ever since, well, basically since 1993. I was devastated when she died, but it really was only after she died that I went way back into the vaults and caught up on her entire career. About every documentary that I could find about her, I watched every television special on even VH1 and MTV because she really had been in the heart of the crossover into American pop music. It was just one of the most heartbreaking days when she passed. Obviously, we're going to talk about Jennifer Lopez's portrayal of her in the movie Selena, one of the most amazing adaptations of a real life hero to film I think we all can agree has ever been made. It was the movie Selena that gave Jennifer Lopez a name, a household name, and very deservingly so because she really went there and became Selena. But those of you that bought the VHS version of the movie Selena know that after the end credits, this Houston Astrodome last concert snippet of the disco melody was at the very end of the VHS tape for us all to watch. And I wore this tape out. Like I watched it so many times all day, every day. I'm really excited to watch it with you today on Cinco de Mayo, celebrating Mexican independence because Selena was Mexican from Corpus Christi, Texas. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna try to hold it together emotionally, but I'm making no promises. Here we go. Beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? How you doing, Houston Jackson? She made that outfit, by the way. She's a designer as well. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights just thinking how you did me wrong And I grew strong and I learned how to get along And now you're back from out of space Come on, Selena Don't try to run Cause you're not welcome anymore Aren't you the one who tried to hurt me with your body? You think I crumbled? You think I let down and died? I'm gone, I'm gone Get out of here Don't try to run you heard Selena? Cause you're not welcome anymore. You ain't welcome no more. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me when goodbye? You think I could rumble? No. You think I let down and die? I'm a night out. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give. I will survive. I will survive. line where she says I've got all my life to live you have more than that Selena you're an iconic legend for the rest of time more than just the short life that you lived
have to admit being born in america i was not raised speaking spanish my parents 
can understand it a lot more than they speak it. I really very rarely ever heard my parents speak Spanish. My grandparents spoke more Spanish. Uh, they were very like back and forth, a lot of Spanglish. But for the most part, we were not, me and my sister were not raised with uh, a lot of Spanish speaking in the house. So I didn't really ever learn Spanish to this day. I took a couple of years of it in school and everybody knows that taking Spanish in school is an absolute joke. Don't mean to diss the education system, but it is, it's awful. You cannot you learn Spanish at all taking it in K through 12 school. But because I was and still am such a rabid fan of Selena, I did start to phonetically learn all of her songs in Spanish. Me and my sister to this day do not speak a word of Spanish, but yet phonetically we can sing along with all of Selena's catalog just because her music was so powerful. It still is so powerful. I believe that there are some artists where no matter how long it's been since their music has come out it's timeless you can play the music and it sounds like it's the current hit on the radio that revs you up michael jackson's music is like that and selena's music is like that you play selena at any party any get together any barbecue any birthday any kind of a holiday you play Selena's music, everybody smiles, everybody starts dancing, and everybody starts singing along. I know that she was shot on March 31st, and so every March 31st, I remember her, and I always post things on my social media about her. I wanted to release this video on March 31st, but I do like the fact that I was able to release this today because it's a more positive day, and even though it's okay that we mourn and we grieve the loss of those that were very close to us and inspired us a lot, like Selena. I do try my best to be joyful, knowing that those that we love that have passed on are with the Lord and that they are in a better place. And also to really live in celebration of what they meant to us and to keep their legacies thriving and alive because of what they left behind here on earth. So I'm kind of glad that I'm sharing this today and I'm not all full of tears. Selena's music still to this day enriches my life and brings me such tremendous joy. Thank you for sharing this with me. I really do appreciate it. If you are brand new to my channel, please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and drop me a comment. Are you a fan of our featured artists today? I would love to hear all about it. Back to that burning question that we had talked about earlier. I am recently just starting a Patreon, and it's because I really want to continue creating great content like this for you. And if you would consider subscribing to me and partnering with me to help me create great content. I will be so grateful. You get early access to all of my content in real time as I created and uploaded it. You also get behind the scenes stuff, some more intimate access to me, and you get all of the answers to all of the burning questions that you see in every video a year before they even come out on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the honor and privilege of your time. I do not take it for granted. I love you. God bless you. Please stay safe out there and I will see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye!